Okay, today we're going to look at two Bosch oil filters, number 3325 and number D3325. And you can get both of these at Rock Auto. The Bosch 3325 goes for $3.83 and the Bosch D3325 goes for $4.02. These two are going to duke it out and we'll see if there's any differences between these two oil filters. So let's get started. It looks like it's have one. You got a good type. Get your inner here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the box. We got 99% dirt trapping efficiency. 14 grams of dirt. And if you look over here, the other side, they got it at 20 microns. So they're saying 99% at 20 microns. Right, let's look at the filter. Here's the date code. F09M21E2. Made in USA. And she has eight inlet holes. I see a metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And a nice amount of threads there. That was the O-ring. And the O-ring is about average. It comes off about average. And this is a sticker on here. Alright, let's look at the other one. The other one comes in a plastic box. And this one says 99.9%. .9%, so they add that 0.9%. It says it holds more dirt, which on here it claims 29.1 grams. Whereas the other one was 14 grams. Yeah, 14 grams. And I believe this one is 99.9% uh, .9 at 40 microns. Although it doesn't say it on here, but that's what it says on the Rock Auto website. And that's where I've read it somewhere else also. Uh, here's the date code. F09H28E2. And this is a sticker also. Yeah, made in USA. Eight inlet holes. Metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And this one has a Teflon O ring. Teflon O ring gasket. And it doesn't come off too easy either, folks. No, not like the other one. This one's on there pretty good. Alright, I'm just gonna. I didn't. Uh, I'll leave it on there for now. I'll take it off later. Yeah, they're both about the same size. The Bosch, uh, this distance plus right here feels heavier. Check in a minute. I open them up, but uh, I say we open these babies up and uh, see what they look like inside. Okay, we'll start with the D3325. 9.3 ounces in the 3325, 7.3 ounces. Where's all the weight? Let's see. Let's try the base plates. The D is 4.5 ounces, and the regular one is 3.2 ounces. I'll call this one the regular one, and I'll call this one D. Make it a lot easier. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll show you where the weight is here. If you look at the inlet holes, you can see that this base plate is thicker. That's why it weighs more. This one's got the Teflon O-ring, which I took off earlier. Off camera. There it is.
Yeah, so this one's got a better base plate. It's got better gasket, better base plate. And then anti-drain back valves. Both silicone. They're nice. They fit nice. Fit in there really nice and tight, actually. Work good. Okay, the filter media. Let's weigh the filter media. This is the D. Just 2.1 ounces. And the regular one is 2.2 ounces. 2.1. You know, yeah, it's pretty close. Let's see. Oh, uh, another thing. Let's look at these two. We'll look at the leaf springs. They both got stamped leaf springs. They look, they look identical. I mean, yeah, they, they're identical because I think, yeah, they probably weighs one ounce. Well, point one. Yeah, they're identical. Okay. And the cans. 2.2 .2 ounces. And the 1.5 ounces. Yeah, the can is definitely thicker. This one's thicker than this one. So you got the can and the base plate that weighs more. Now, I counted... Uh... 53 pleats. It's got a crimped metal seam. Metal end caps. Bypass valve, which is set for... Oh, I keep messing my notes up here. Where's my notes? Set for 14 to 18 PSI. Both filters. And both filters have a cellulose paper media. They're both kind of sloppy too. It's got some glue here, glue here, glue here. Now let's look at this one. This one's this one you ain't gonna like, folks. I found something on this one that people ain't gonna like, but hey, it's there. Um, I counted fifty-two pleats on this one. One less pleat, metal crimp seam. Also metal end caps. Same got the same bypass valve setting of. 14 to 18 PSI. This one's probably a little cleaner than the other one. A little glue here. But I found a tear in this one. Let's see if I can find it. It's right over here. See this? That was like that. I didn't do that. It's got a little tear right there. See if I can really zoom that in. You see, it's barely there, but it's there. It looks like something ran across here or something, you know, probably during the, you know, it was being made. Yeah, a little tear there. I wouldn't, eh, I don't understand it, well, the way they make these filters. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm going to cut this. When I cut it, it's probably going to cut right at that tear, so you ain't going to see it, you know, when I cut these open. It's, I don't know, it's the way they make them. Let's get some measurements. Okay, this one was definitely heavier and thicker. Yeah, 0. 0.7. That's, that's thicker than normal. The average is about 0.4. Yeah. This one's even but this one's below. That was 0.3. Yeah, this this one felt pretty thin when I was cutting it because you can see how jagged it got. Because it was it's so thin it didn't really want to cut it. It more like wanted to cave in. Whereas this one, this one's thicker, it it cut really nice. 
Yeah, definitely two. I can tell you right now, I would take this filter over over this one. And the price difference is only like 20 cents or something, 19 cents. But uh, yeah, let's get the well, let's get the measurement. These should be identical, I would think. I'll, I'll measure them anyway, so. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's see. Inches. Two point three zero. This is another thing too. I gotta show you this. Okay, two point three zero. And this one's a little bit crooked. Watch. Well, they got two point three three here. If I go on this side, the opposite side, it should be bigger. No. Look how it looks. Two point three four. Two point seven one. I'm not touching it. I just touched it there. Let me put it back. Eh. Well, there's a little bit. I think it's a little crooked. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's got a little lean to it this way, but not much. Just barely. That along with this, uh, I don't like this filter at all. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let me cut these babies open and stretch them out and see what they look like. One's got one more pleat than the other one. They should be about the same length. A little glue. I don't understand the sloppiness on all the these filters are unreal the way they make them. Wow, it's not even crimped really that good either. You know, if you look at it, it's these things will probably fall off when I cut it. All right, let me cut these open. We'll be right back. Okay, here they are all laid out, and the D thirty three. 25 is 47 inches long and the regular one is 46 inches long okay, zoomed out a little bit okay and here they are at the seams and both of these filter medias to me feel the same. I don't know. This one looks a little darker. This is the regular one. And this is D. Um You know they look they look pretty much the same though. Um why the D is says it holds more dirt and it's got a different filtration number, I don't I don't know. It looks to me it looks pretty much the same. Just one pleat more and a little bit longer. But this one here was the one that was had the little tear in it and you can't see it now because it was, it was somewhere probably up here but you know that's where I cut it so it just cut right there at that spot but anyways you know would, would that um you know would that destroy your engine no I doubt it it's just a little little baby tear but um you know it's like quality control on these oil filters is, is pretty lousy and, and I, this is the first time I've seen a tear on a filter but I've seen the messy glue this messy glue I see a lot. I see a lot of messy glue on filters. I, I just don't understand it. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty sad. Yeah, I, I just want to say it's pretty sad. But let me talk about the rest of this filter. You know, these silicone and drain back valves, these are nice on both of them. Look at this one stays on so good. I don't think you want to come out, it stays on it really nice. But I would have to give the base plate to this one just because it's thicker and it's got the Teflon Teflon O-ring. So I would give the base plate to this one. The can I would give to this one. And the glue, well, I guess the glue's, this one's more sloppier. But this one's got the tear, so I mean, uh, Obviously, I would go with this one. Definitely, if you're going to buy the... If you're going to use these filters, I would use this one. 
personally, I wouldn't use either one of these. So uh, that's just my take on it, my opinion. Um, this one costs $3.83, and this one costs $4.02, but I'd rather pay $8 and put a good filter in than put these things in. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use these, folks. It's my opinion, but I wouldn't use them. Well, that being said, um, don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. Thank you.